Oh no, let's go. Come we on. got the dumbbells. Let's get this roll. Let's get this rolling. Let's Cameras. Start. And then there's a sofa. And it's time to take a drag. Let's go. Hey. That's that's on our white album. So hey, we gotta just, push st- just push stop. Hey, on we the don't thing. have too much time here. We, we can't keep our cars on the road. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Relax. We got time. We're not going to go till 3 a.m. we got o'clock. lots of time. What's yeah. the rule? What's the rule? 2 o'clock. Two o'clock. No, no, there is no rule here. What do you mean? You're not supposed to park on the street it's at the all. Th- it's the Thunderdome. We'll be fine. It's when you can't park on the streets at all. Should I move my car? No, no, I'm... <laughs> After 1 o'clock is more of a concern. Welcome. Two hours. <laughs> you don't know these guys. They just talk. You guys are killing my intro. You could delete it later. Welcome to the Crew Roundtable Podcast, brought to you by CrewRoundtable.com, a roundtable discussion of all the hot news affecting the greater Toronto area, featuring Big V, Marco, Gino, and JR, and now your host of the Crew Roundtable, the champ who runs the camp, Sal Champ. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Crew Roundtable. Thank you for tuning in. Um, We're going to get right into the topic here. But before I do, let's introduce our panelists. We have Marco to my left. Giddy up. Big V to his left. Gigats. To his left, we have Gino. How do you follow that bullshit? Champ, once again, thank you very much for having us in your home to record another a wonderful podcast. Um, I hope that uh, we have all the hippie contingent listening to us on this episode as we go through uh, our topic. They are, they're eating yogurt and granola in their Birkenstocks as we uh, stream. Wonderful. Great. To his left, JR. Thank you, Sal. I am ready to smoke this topic. And th- th- great. <laughs> what is the topic, actually? <laughs> hold on. We'll We've get been to holding that. on to that one for a week. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been, oh, waiting. It's been burning a hole in his back pocket. Been, I must use it. His ass is on fire. He's had the windows rolled up. <laughs> I've been hot boxing this topic for a week, man. Uh, uh, finally, uh, and we have a special guest, uh, Enza, here. Uh, on the Crew Radio podcast, special guest, say hello, Enza. Who is Enza? Hi there. Enza, my little sister. Hey. Hey. And she was a featured part of our uh, episode on the housing market in the greater Toronto area. She, she That was her topic that she sent in to uh, uh, at Crew Roundtable using the hashtag Ask the, ask the Crew. Unfortunately, we That's didn't right. have enough tissues afterwards. That's right. You can... Uh, that's... You can uh, tweet us at ask. Uh, sorry, you can tweet us at Crew Roundtable with the hashtag Ask the Crew with your topic. Okay, you can also uh, visit our website for all our episodes. You can download our shows at iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, and TuneIn Radio app. Website CrewRoundtable.com. Wonderful. Okay, sure. so for this topic here this week, we've got the sale and distribution of. Cannabis. The Liberal Party is going to be legalizing cannabis uh, in the spring, and they're going to be releasing their uh, what do you, their laws by law? What do you, what would you call it? Well, laws? they're uh, they're moving into legalizing and 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 uh, okay regulating the use of cannabis. So the regulations are coming out. Uh, Gino, do you want to open it up? Uh, thank you very much, Champ. And uh, we're going to talk first about cannabis in general its use and potential abuse. Uh, And then we're going to discuss what people in the greater Toronto area can do to get in on this coming change in legislation at the federal level. Uh, So the first question that we are going to discuss is, should the Ontario government control the growing and distribution of this product? And I think it hinges on the central question of, is this medicine? So I throw that out to the table. Does anyone want to take a first crack at that? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pick this one up. Okay, go ahead, Jim. Um, You'd probably beat us if you tried. Uh, don't get in my way. Um, 
I, 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 you know, I have a, I have a lot of very liberal friends that that that, that do use uh, marijuana under the table. I, I do see a lot of this posting. It's 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 pay, you know it's medicine. It's this. It's that and the other thing. Are they really using it under the table? You be well after a couple. I mean, I imagine that's where they. No, not. but are but are <laughs> they are they even hiding use anymore? No, they're not hiding the use. But it's still it, the, th- the but it's still illegal, regardless of how well it's accepted. It's still an elite, It's still a controlled substance. <sighs> and no matter how how you debate, you can't debate that part. It's still plus seventy five points for opening a Stella on the recording. Go ahead. Sorry, Jr. That's right. But that's uh, uh, seventy five points a lot for of posts Gino. On, you know, it's it's illegal because big pharma, because of this, because of that. And I'm sure there is a good potential for medicinal uses. I, I'm, and I strictly say potential. Uh, I don't doubt that anxiety is probably well treated by it, uh, and that's the that's the big that's the big wedge that's spearheading. Sorry, Jr. Are, are you this. basing your opinion on what's happening in the United States or what's happening in Canada? I'm, I'm not I'm not basing an opinion at all. I'm I'm simply stating potential. I am in, I'm not talking absolutes because being a restricted substance, it's very difficult to do this research because ultimately, if you can't use it, this research is pointless. So it be, you become it becomes a chi- what we're looking at is a chicken and egg scenario. You know you can't you can't uh, you can't study it because it's not legal. It won't be legalized because no one's seeing any kind of virtue to legalizing it, and it becomes a cycle. So I think at the, at the very least, take a step back and tell us the current state of the laws. The current the current state is it's it's a restricted substance. You can't make it. You you can't grow it. You can't sell it, and you can't use it. Uh, there are certain li- there are certain uh, certain medicinal areas that you can use it. Some people do have their cards. Some people purchase. do have their cards, and but it's very limited. A lot of it's a lot of it's uh, uh, anxiety related. Uh, pain, a lot of it's pain pain control related, where it has been. But that's not medicine, right? That's it's hardly it's hardly curing cancer, which a lot of people seem to. A lot of people claim that it cures cancer. A lot of people claim that their cannabis oil helps. The the best I can find out, the best I could find out my research is there has shown there's been potential shown, but those are small scale. They're they're, they're small scale uh, researches because it's illegal. Unfortunately, they can't. You cannot procure a lo- a large a large amount of of marijuana to do a properly sized. Uh, test. I mean, if you, as soon as you propose it, you know your grant. The, a lot of the grant money pulls back because nobody wants to get involved with drugs. Either they don't want to legitimize it by prove by having your your uh, your research proven correct. There's a lot of people that don't want to give it any kind of legitimacy, regardless mm. of what it is. Careful, you're sounding like a conspiracy nut. Where no, evidence, I'm, I'm, where I'm, absence I'm, of evidence I, I, is evidence I, I, no, of I mean, absence. I know, I know what conservative thinking is like, and they don't want to give it. They don't want. They don't want to give it any kind of benefits. It has right? not. It has nothing to do with so, conservative or liberal thinking. So I, I, th- I think <coughs> legalizing it, even in small quantity for personal use, would be a very first, a good first step in opening up, easing up regulations to to research. I, I'm sure you have to do all sorts of paperwork to even be allowed to procure a certain a, a volume enough to do. A statistically uh, significant uh, research, so th- this is probably at least, l- at the very least, alleviating red tape to do more research. Okay, okay, you call. Okay, so I don't know if I'm allowed to go into this direction, but can you? Can you? You're the host, baby. Can you, go you make direction a you plant want. illegal? How do you feel about that? Well, I mean. It's a plant. It is a plant, <laughs> but you know, it's a plant that produces uh, um, mind-altering drugs. I right. mean, would the if the coca plant were, you know, zone six friendly, would it be allowed to be grown here? I don't think so either. What the hell is zone six? But zone six is our climate zone. It's the cold weather uh, climate zone. Zone f- sorry, we're zone four and five. Sorry, you got to you, you got to dumb four, this if, down for us a little if bit. Coca, we're not if, all if the at coca your plant, level. which is the the sole source of cocaine, yeah. Which is a tropical plant. Yeah. So you can't. So you know, it's all. Speaking of you know, using it as an example of growing in here is all yeah. hypothetical. But yeah. if it, if theoretically it was a zones four friendly plant that it could survive cold winters, 
I don't think you'd be allowed to grow that here either. Wait, wait. So what's what's zone four? You said zone six was our zone. I made a mistake. I think zone six, zone six going up, increasing zone is increasing temperature. I I, I picked the wrong zone. So so, so basically, what you're saying is that that plant is not uh, feasible in our climate. No, that's correct. Uh, it's plants. the only it's the only other plant I know of that grows dry. I mean, I don't. You can't. But it does require the processing. Hair, it does all. Of the, they all do. Um, the heroin poppy is another one. Right. I don't think you can grow it in, in Toronto That's right. either. Everything requires um, processing except, the except cannabis. Mar- cannabis. No, the problem with the, the, what 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 unfortunately gets rolled in with cannabis is hemp, which is a close closely related plant. It looks yep. very similar, which yep. produces no no no, no drug uh, chemicals at all. Right, but but it, it's apparently a, it's a it, it, it's a it's a high value crush, cr- cash crop. For fiber and paper. Hemp is... Hemp... One acre of hemp can replace four acres of trees. I think we're all on the hemp bandwagon right. as a practical solution to some of the problems right. to mm-hmm. our industrial society. Well, hemp was used by our parents. Let's not go down that back road. Back in their day on, on the farms. So. Right. Yeah. Um, so do you want to... So do you guys want to talk about the having Ontario... Dis- discuss Ontario distribution? Well, we need to first discuss, is it medicine? Because that's what I believe JR was getting at. Okay. Yeah. With some of the Is studies. it medicine? So the videos on YouTube with the, the, uh, the, the, the man with Parkinson's, Parkinson's, he takes his cannabis oil or whatever he does, within four minutes, the guy's steady, cool as a cucumber. Yeah, that's not proof. Right. Uh, uh, it's potential. Yeah. As I said, there's potential for medication. Okay. And... We should investigate it. Okay. It should, and, and, and if we can... 300 uh, points for JR. If we can adjust the laws to, you know, to, to, a, to make that research easier to do and less taboo to do, we, should, we, should, we, we, we owe it to ourselves to do that. Yeah, so most of the evidence for the healing properties of uh, tying one on and getting high... Are anecdotal at best. That's right. And, but how, and how I agree we, with Tito. How do we know that, it, that these low results level research, low level are, 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 are no? It's are no, not low level research. How do we, how do we know these nothing, results are no more than simply something that could be psychological? So I have some actual research. At one point, it doesn't matter. I would like to throw some facts out onto the table for everybody. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, so this comes from cancer.org. Okay, so the first ground rule that I want to put forth is uh, no one is allowed to use Wikipedia as a source for anything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I, I hope mm-hmm. I hope that we are all in agreement on that. Yeah. All right, it is not an academic source. No, you, that is correct. And it is, it is a freely uh, editable uh, resource, so therefore it has no credibility. Thank you, Jared. but you can use it as a leapfrog off to other topics. Uh, the only thing Wikipedia right. is good for are the nerds who are writing about their comic books and cartoon fantasy uh, items. That's the only soups. thing it's good for. Yeah. Anyway, okay, we're getting okay. off topic here. All right, so. Um, JR, with regards. Yellow card? Okay. So, no, no, he doesn't deserve a yellow card, champ. Reel it in. Sorry. Yeah. Gino, J, uh, yellow card. <clears throat> That's JR right. It's mine. So, champ, I think you need more beer. Um, <laughs> with regards to what JR Almost. said, uh, the definitive answer is no, cannabis does not cure cancer. Okay. You're right. Full stop. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, there is a dual mm-hmm. argument at place here by the hippie goofballs who want free access to smoke up wherever they want okay first they are saying it's medicine i need it for medicinal purposes and then they are turning around and saying it has no lingering side effects that need to be controlled as a substance so there is a dual argument there where they are speaking out of both sides of their mouth all right medicine is strongly controlled in our country i believe because it's harmful if it's not taken correctly. That's right. correct. Well, okay? That's, that's correct. Yes. medicine. Yeah. All right? It's produced under strict tolerance parameters for purity and, compens- and, uh, and uh, composition of the <clears throat> dose for control. And at some point, you stop taking the medicine if you get better. <coughs> okay? That, uh, is, that is the definition of medicine. We're not talking about controlling symptoms... Because the drugstore down the street, the only real medicine that they sell you over the counter is aspirin and Advil. Everything else that you can buy off the shelf at the drugstore 
just controls symptoms. You think NyQuil is medicine? No. Okay. No, no. You think you 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 think allergy medication, medication in scare quotes? You think that's medicine? It's not. It helps you to control symptoms. The stuff that really fixes you is the stuff that can really screw you up, and that's behind the counter, and you got to get a prescription for it. Okay. So people who say that it's medicine, I'm sorry, but I have to take issue with that because the studies are just not there. There is no evidence that. (laughs) Smoking, smoking it gives you fast effects. And I believe that it, our illustrious leader, Champ, he mentioned the drops. Um, cannabis oil. Cannabis oil, okay? The drops actually offer longer lasting effects and better effects than smoking marijuana, okay? So people who do have a prescription for it, they should be getting drops. So you don't, you don't get it light it up, take a hit, and get some sort of immediate relief of your symptoms. You get it, you put the drops under your tongue, it's absorbed quicker, in, it's, it's absorbed slowly into your body, but you get a longer lasting effect, and then you can regulate the amount that you use. So that might be a point to JR where it's saying, yes, it does have some medicinal properties, okay? But that's the drops, mm-hmm. not smoking it. Um, Saying that ingesting smoke into your lungs somehow is a health benefit, no. I call bullshit on it right away. No, no, you can't argue that smoking is I call is, bullshit is, is on harmless. it right away. Okay? No. Your lungs are meant to process air. Anything that's in your lungs that is not air should not be there. That's correct. Period. Okay? You were talking about the uh, um, mental... Uh, or, uh, Anxiety. Anxiety, depression, illness, things of things of that nature. So according to mild, mild level, I'm not saying hardcore level. depression is going to be fixed by this. It may be mitigated, maybe, maybe, maybe. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to write off. I'm, I'm, I'm talking potentials. Now, according to again, cancer.org, marijuana is a. It, it has side effects just like anything else. Yeah. Okay. It has shown in trials to be. Poor treatment for psychosomatic and mental illnesses. Okay? So all these people who say, well, I just need one because it helps me with, you know, it helps me to feel better. Well, yes, of course it helps you to feel better. Okay? But it is not, at least from what I can see, I don't see any evidence of it being medicine. And if that's the position that we're taking around this table, then the discussion, I think we have to frame it differently because then we're talking about is it just a cash grab by the federal government Uh, is it just a wedge issue that they use in the last election to get elected out of curiosity on cancer.org uh did you see uh any uh talk about uses uh, its use as an anti-nauseant for those going through chemotherapy so that's, that, that's, so that it's, it's not treating the cancer, but it can make cancer treatment more tolerable? So there is, there is some evidence that it can be used as pain relief. Okay. Okay, which once again, it treats the symptoms. Mm-hmm. Uh, which sometimes is enough. Sometimes, sometimes that's enough. Yes, but once There's again, a reason so why NyQuil is on, the, is on the shelves. Yes, but smoking it, once again, was the least effective option of using it. Fair enough. Fair right? Enough. So if you get drops or pills or something like that where you can get the healing or the symptom alleviating properties of this without having to go to some dispensary and saying, I want, you know, a gram of BC bud and then going and having a fun time on Saturday night because you can, because it's legal, Mm. right? Sitting and saying, most people who say they need it for medicinal purposes, I think it's a crock because there's way more potent stuff out there that may help you. It's just another tool if it's not medicinal, then why are we making such a big deal out of it? Legalize it, tax it, put it in the corner store. When I was, when I was eight years old, I used to get on my bike, go to the corner store, get a pack of Rothman Small, or, uh, Rothman Small Kings for my dad, and I would go home and bring it to him. What's the difference? You're right. And that, bring, that brings us to another to- an extended topic. Um, everyone knows that in 2012, uh, in the U.S., uh, marijuana was legalized by... Um, uh, Colorado and Washington State. Uh, in 2014, uh, a couple of other states, including Alaska 
a very red state, also legalized it. Um, they did a... Um, let me find out this information here. There's uh, about the 20 drug, the drug, some odd states the, right the now. Drug, there's, there's five or six, not 20. No, what are you talking about? They just, they just legalized a whole bunch during the last... Prevent, during the last federal election in the I US. was not aware of that. But yeah. um, anyway, the, the, the Drug Policy Alliance actually did a, a, some in-depth survey. Now, even they admit that even for Colorado and Washington State, it's still a little early, but in terms of uh, a, lot of, a lot of the effects, team marijuana use is not, has not significantly changed. It's gone down slightly by, by absolute measures, but not significant, but it has it's not increased by any measure. Uh, marijuana arrests have dropped because it's no longer illegal, mm-hmm. freeing up police resources to deal with far more da- far more important threats. Mm-hmm. Um, there's been uh, very little impact on traffic fatalities, and those that have happened were primarily related to out of town party people, uh, people who are living. In those states, did it at home, didn't drive anywhere, mm-hmm. as opposed to you know people who were on drug vacations, uh, you know went there, went, had a party, and got into car accidents accordingly. You know it's not any different than alcohol, in terms of its 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 danger to to being its impairment abilities. And then finally, the the, ta- the tax revenues have gone up, but I mean, they, but apparently they still make a small slice of the overall state budgets. The budgets. The states have not had to uh, cut taxes in any any kind of shape or form. Uh, but uh, some of the some, it. Yeah, but it has, it has helped. Some and, of the but some are of those the states, states the like are they controlling the are they the are they the primary yes. sellers sellers? Yes, they're the so primary they have, sellers. They are. Yeah, yeah. they're and the they're sellers. Not, they're in on it, and they're not making they're not making any cash. They're making money because hand it's over not fist. it's not because it's not as widespread as it is. Right? It's not. It's not that every single person in the state suddenly. Started smoking up. I can't imagine it compares as fa- compa- compares closely to alcohol, do where they, everybody um, drinks alcohol. Do they have a right but to grow it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because that that then they, they they wouldn't be able to regulate that. Now you can brew your own beer. So maybe maybe growing your own alcohol, maybe growing your own marijuana is on the one way. of the recommendations. Down there. It's a yep, couple one of plant, the, maybe a few plants. Yeah, one of the recommendations is to grow. You can have your you can have up to four plants. Uh, mm. In the recommendations for the federal legislation yes. of uh, might be good, is that for medicinal use or is that just no? I think, I think, I think, no, I think I think recreational. I think I think any kind of illusion is gone. I think I, I have a funny feeling. It's just that they're they're, they're always they're, 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 it's, there's probably multiple arguments, but from the federal government's point, it's like they're they're wasting a lot of money on policing this when it's not a definitely it's not a high danger cr- drug. Plus three hundred points for Jr. How can you how can you say it's not a high danger drug? I can't imagine it's any more dangerous than, than alcohol. I mean, and, and you know, just like alcohol consumption by minors while the brain is still is still being the is still developing is dangerous. So there's going to be a minimum age. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. And it's probably going to be higher than drug or uh, drugs or smoking. Um, uh, sorry, dr- li- dr- li- liquor or uh, or cigarette. It'll be similar. You know, because it has been shown that. Adolescent brains are permanently damaged by m- marijuana. Sure. Pro- now, how much of that is because they're s- pr- simply smoking and therefore it's caused as a, you know, a oxygen deficiency problem? I, I don't know. But just the act of smoking marijuana before the age of 25 has been mm. shown to, show, to, to, to have Big damage v. on the brain. Champ, 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 can you go over what was your original question? Was it not whether the government should be... Running this, or well, first or we were gonna just it. cover the this is just the basis right now, just the basis on is it medicinal because that was the primary argument. Yeah, I think I think a lot of the evidence has shown that there's nothing definitive of being proven. Yeah. You just said when the show started that mm-hmm. there was not enough evidence to make this to make conclusions. That's what I just said. Yeah, I just said that. You know that 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 was a lot of the argument going in, but, but you just said a lot that of the evidence but you, has shown that it hasn't. But you just said studies show that you shouldn't have it before you're 25. Studies show this. Studies show that. Studies show that. So which is it? This, I'm talking about in terms of actually helping, but there's been a lot of studies on on its uh, on its effects in general. There just hasn't been a lot of medical research. Health effects or societal effects? 
little or bit both. of both. A little bit of both. both, but nothing specifically medically targeted. Okay, I just wanted to okay. be clear where you were coming you know, from. They, they have done... They're, they're, you can get a lot of grants if you're going to do... In the past, if you're going to prove that marijuana is dangerous and should never be allowed, there's tons of money for that kind of research. <laughs> and a, a lot of it's been uh, shown that... Say that again? That, Say that again? There's tons of research on... On, on the ill effects of, uh, 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 of marijuana because it's easy to get those kind of grants. Right. But if you're trying to show that it's good, you know, that, that, that kind of money, that kind of money is parceled out in very small amounts. So I want to know, Marco, Big V, what are your thoughts on the devil's lettuce? <laughs> Way to, way to stay unbiased. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. We're really like to say like Jeff. devil's lettuce. <laughs> tell us how you really feel. Yeah, I know. Jeff, I mean. No, I'll tell you how I really feel, but, you know, that's what people, you know, I they think, think it's so evil. I've, I've never heard it called that in my the life. The devil's I, lettuce? I, I have. Yeah, I've never heard, I've heard it called have? that. I, I, no. Ingest. Ingest. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm sure in the 50s it was called, it called, it called oh, all the time. Oh, man, I wish I had it, the whole list right now. It was called feed for the animals back in the 50s. Wacky tobacco? That's one of my yeah, favorites. no, I had another. I think I had another good one, but Markle. I think if legalizing it helps to get more medical research into whether it can be used medicinally or not, is a good thing. Uh, I wonder if just legalizing it is enough to like remove that stigma to the point where you're gonna have enough studies and enough people enrolling in studies. For that kind of thing, in the short term, probably not. Probably looking at a long, long lead time until we get some real answers about. You got to start the ball rolling somewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, same for any drug, right? Like, this, it takes decades before you can really determine whether it has any benefit or not, right? True. Unless you're the federal liberals here in Canada, where you just make a proclamation, we're going to make it legal. Vote for us, and you ride that popularity into becoming a government. Well, if, if they're just going to say we're going to make it legal, that's fine. If they're going to say we're going to make it medicine, that's ridiculous. You can't that's exactly what they said. Big well, V. Making it legal, making it medicine. They're difficult. turning every shopper's drug mart into a dispensary. Because they, only because, now I, I can see how that gives the illusion that it's medication, but only because shopper's drug mart has the ability to dole out narcotics now, they have the security in place to securely d dispense it. They're, no one's saying that they're going to need a prescription, but they're, 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 they, they have the facilities to control the sale of it. I, it, I would, I would well, too. Well, I, wasn't it supposed it would, to go into the beer store? The beer, the beer LCBO, store can make LCBO. it. Make, LCBO. The beer, nothing's stopping the beer store or the LCBO from doing the same thing. Champ, for people who are not aware, can you explain the archaic way that we purchase alcohol in this province? <laughs> Everything is purchased through the government, uh, through the LCBO, taxed like by the LCBO. The, the beer store, the beer store is not is a euphemism. It's called the beer store. The beer store. Yeah, the beer store is basically has, three, it's major, three owners. Its major owners are is Labatt, Labatt Interbrew. Canadi no, Interbrew. So, okay, uh, Canadian ownership of it would be Labatt's. Canadian Coolers know, and Sleeman has um, or that, which is now Sapporo changed, yeah. call a spade a spade the beer store is a fucking cartel is about yeah. uh, they have about 10% roughly uh, of ownership uh, as a third uh, as a third owner but I never got Big V's thoughts on cannabis medicine or just the plant how do you feel uh, to be honest, I'm just going to go with it as a plant because... That's why you are the illustrious leader uh, and the host of this show. I, I'm going to be honest, this is a topic that I've never really given thought about because simply f to the fact that if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. If they don't, they're no. Right. Uh, secondly, I don't smoke it, so anybody else who wants to do it, then go for the gold. Right. I really don't care. May I, may as, I speak to that? No, because I'm talking. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, as it being uh, medicinal or basically just a plant, um, you know what? I'm going to go with JR with regards to uh, there just simply hasn't been really any uh, studies in depth on uh, uh, whether if there's any medicinal value to it simply because of its taboo uh, that it's had over the decades. 
Um, so I'm just going to go with the plant. You want to smoke it up, go for the gold. Mm -hmm. When we get to the point where we decide whether it should be this government control or governmently, like basically <laughs> like liquor and, uh, and beer, controlled by the government or not, I'll have more say with, with regards to that. But that's pretty much what I got right now. Hey, Mark. Okay. Mark, you deal with cancer patients all the time. Now, you don't do chemo, fair enough. Uh, some of those patients have or are going to be doing chemo. Wait, wait, um, you don't, you do don't you actually deal with the cancer patients. You, deal, you do the testing. He, no, he, the, he, no, he, he plays he, the radiation. He determines how much uh, radiation oh, he, he the, the, the patients he get. Do okay. you have any, conver any anecdotal <clears throat> stories about patients who say that yeah, I smoke up and it helps me deal with the pain? It, it helps me deal with the nausea? I don't. I don't no. know. I don't have numbers. For what you. about no, no, no? This is this isn't research. This isn't data. It's anecdotal. Anec this is strictly anecdata. What about hunger? Anecdata. I, I like. I, someone's gonna <coughs> eat. I, I like know, that. Yeah. Very good, Jr. Very good. Yeah, I know. There's there's patients who use it for nausea. There's patients who use it uh, to help their appetites. Help their right? appetite, yep. yeah, yeah, I heard about that too. Right. Um, but like again, there's no there's no proof, right? There's no proof yeah, that that's. Yeah, I don't, I'm not arguing that that's proof. Right. You're you're 100 percent right. Um, but if it's if it's really the legalization or the the, the illegality of of production and use and sale of it that's holding back us figuring out whether it could be or more useful, then that's that's something that needs to change, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's 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 plenty of drugs that are deadly like Eugene was saying, in the right dose, in the right dose, they're, you know, they're very helpful. And without research, you wouldn't have uh, been able to figure that out. It's just there's a stigma attached, right? Yeah. And that's, uh, that's a huge hurdle, right? Like, there's, there's, a, there's a huge lobby uh, against the legalization of, all, of, of marijuana. Who's behind that lobby? I don't know. I don't know. Like you know, you you say to me. Does that lobby even exist? I, I think, think so. so. I think so. I think so. Really, with with the federal government on board championing it, with all the states in the United States eventually becoming on board, does that lobby even exist? It's a weakened lobby. It, 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 but For it's sure. Still, yeah. Right. I mean, there's there's the say no to drugs people that you know. <laughs> it's Thirty years ago, they're in diapers now. They st but they're right. still around. Uh, but you know. so did it never work? But, but that's that, I think that's a valid question. Like actually, they're probably you know, the ones taking it out for some yeah. some <laughs> yeah, ailments, yeah, some pain that they have at their age. <laughs> Like I don't, I don't know if there's a really good understanding of how addictive marijuana is, right? Yeah, like, a lot of like, that research has been skewed. Like, we can probably all agree that it's less addictive than cocaine, mm. right? Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. If, but if it's addictive, then do we have a responsibility to protect the public from it? Now, we've kind of washed our hands of that responsibility when it comes to alcohol, yeah. for better or for worse. Um, what, do, what do you mean by we've washed our hands of it? Well, because it's, 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 you, can, you can buy alcohol. It's legal. If, you, if you're 18... You can buy yeah. alcohol. Nineteen. Is it addictive? It's very addictive, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it can be happy, happy for me. Uh, yep. It's, impa yep. it's uh, definitely uh, impairing. Is it really? I'm on, I'm have, yeah, I'm having alcohol. Is it really? Right now. I I, there, there's, there's alcohol addiction. Are you questioning the, the presence of alcohol addiction? I'm not addiction? questioning the presence of alcohol addiction. I'm Therefore, it's habit forming. I'm questioning the prevalence of alcohol addiction. Oh. How well. many people are actually addicted to alcohol? More than you realize. More than you realize, because it's socially acceptable, you don't have to hide it. It's a minority of people. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, so, it's, what, what do you mean you don't have to hide it? I cannot, the, I cannot go in the middle of the afternoon and go for a liquid lunch no, with people be, from my work. No, you can't do that, but alcohol is socially acceptable. You can, go to, you, you can drink it responsibly on lunch unless, you're, unless your company has a policy against it. People bring out alcohol at holiday parties with the with the upcoming holiday. Uh, yes. With, with the upcoming holidays, alcohol is over. Alcohol is is highly socially acceptable. No one's ever been No one is ever stigmatized for having a drink. I had a drink at nine o'clock in the morning at work. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't count. Yeah, like the vast majority of people you are, know not, I mean. are not. Irish up that coffee. It's yeah. much easier. I, I would imagine <laughs> it's fairly easy 
to get hooked on alcohol than it is anything else because a, okay. you can just go to the store and buy it head held high okay, but it, I and mean, not act, not treat it like a social pride instead of running behind a dumpster getting heroin from your dealer. Hey, but, champ, but I don't, how about if we hear from right. Like yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not as if 20% of the public is is e- either addicted or capable of being addictive, addicted to alcohol. I don't think in this it's country, it's easier in this hide. area, we have a rampant abuse. I, I don't think we have a rampant uh, problem with alcoholism. Well, you so you can, you can go to mm. places in this country and be... Very quickly convinced otherwise. Yes. Are you talking about the native reservations? I'm I, I'm talking about native re- reservations. I'm talking about mm-hmm. rural areas mm-hmm. and poverty stricken areas. Right. I'm yeah. sure it's on. I would imagine hypoth- it's possibly on the rise in Alberta. So it might not be addiction, right? Uh, in the, in that sense, it might be you know it's just some psychological way of dealing. Well, with I think it. it's I think I think it's classified as a chemical addiction. It is addiction. Yeah. It is legally a chemical addiction. Yes. Sure. Sure. Um. Once again, I'm always a fan of facts, so let me throw something out based on Canada. So this comes from the Canadian Cancer Society website. Okay. Okay. Those guys are paid off by Big Pharma. I'll rebut that with logic. No, 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 no I'm no just facts. looking for my water. I just needed something to okay. say. Go ahead, um, so Gino. According to the Canadian <laughs> Cancer Society website, I lost my bottle of water. all right, oh. um, there is no definitive evidence showing an increase or decrease in cancer risk of using marijuana. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there are provisos on that research because it's difficult to isolate marijuana use because many people who use marijuana also use tobacco, mm. according, to the, according to the research that's mm. out there. So you can't really mm-hmm. get a handle. And this goes to uh, JR's point where he said that some research is still outstanding. So I got to give you, I got to, I got to give you that point. Yeah. But the official position of the Canadian Cancer Society is that long-term marijuana use may raise the risk of cancer based on common sense of taking smoke into your lungs. People who use and smoke marijuana usually inhale longer and deeper, okay, than people who use tobacco. Uh, now, they of course, recommend more research on recreational use and on secondhand effects, mm-hmm. right? This is what... Go ahead. <laughs> Remember Leonard Skinnerd? Secondhand oh, effects? Second hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, second Skinnerd. Go okay. ahead. Um, so this is, what, this is what leads me to... This is what leads me to my conclusion that it is no different at this point in time from alcohol and tobacco. Um, I think I'm the only one on the round table here who is a former smoker. I spent 15 years using tobacco. (coughs) And I loved every minute of it. Tobacco, to me, is the best thing ever invented by the hand of man. The only drawback is the cancer that kills you. Okay? uh, And there are other breathing-related ailments that are not cancer. Okay, other breathing... Emphysema. Okay, but other breathing-related ailments. You can get breathing-related ailments from many different things. But... Tobacco itself was once used as a medicinal substance, okay? It does certain things to your body that are fantastic. It will bring you up and calm you down at the same time. It is fantastic. There is nothing better than cracking open a pack of Rothman's Small King and we do not have any sponsorship of any type from any okay. tobacco company. Just oh, so no, you all we know. Don't, we don't need any sponsorship because when I tried to get hired by those Rothman bastards, they, they stymied me at every turn. So that whole company can burn as far as I'm concerned. I'm not a smoker anymore. Again, because of the, because of the, new, because of the health risks and the education that was available. Our generation of people sitting around this table are the people who stopped smoking. Our generation actually did quite a lot of things. Our generation are the ones who stopped smoking. Our generation is the, are, are the ones who brought this whole marijuana issue to the fore and are suddenly making it legal. Our generation are the ones that allowed the kindergarten teacher who was born in 1995 to have a giant ugly frog tattoo on her foot and wear sandals and teach kindergarten class. Oh my God, don't get me started okay? on that. Okay, so our generation has done... My wife not done included in that uh, stereotype. doesn't matter. We you can bring wife... that up as a future topic. <laughs> exactly. So oh, definitely. I got a good opinion on that too. Definitely. Our gen- 
And my wife will guest star on that. On that. On that. No, 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 sorry. What did go I? Ahead, what did go I ahead, Gino. Uh, sorry, I was. Uh, I got sidetracked. It. Go ahead, Gino. No, sorry. Minus okay. twenty points to Benny for getting sidetracked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, so minus twenty points. Now it's official. So this is. So this is why, to me, it is no different from. It is no different from alcohol or tobacco. At one point, I was growing my own tobacco and processing it at home. It's not as difficult as everyone thinks. Okay. Uh, Probably better. Smart. What? The hell did you have a grow up? You, you never heard that? It's not a grow up. <laughs> it's le- It's a legal plant. They were growing uh, in the front yeah, yard. Yeah. yeah, I know. I, I've been to his house. I don't know how many times. I've never seen plants <laughs> growing in his house. No, yeah, you grew, grew it outside. It grew in the front yard. You take it inside. You toast it. You hang it from the roof of the garage. And then you can purchase the cartridges. You can purchase the cartridge machine. Ah. You can purchase the empty shells. You make your own I, filtered cigarettes. And yeah. I hope I hope it was toasted by the sun. No. Oh. Toaster oven in the garage. <laughs> but wow. the reason, I, I, I had no, no clue. Just like, just like the, the, the old the days. Reason, the, the reason yeah. you grow no. marijuana inside is because it's illegal. You get caught, you get in trouble. Exactly. T- tobacco is a fully legal product. Exactly. You can grow a field of it if you want. As you're long just as you don't sell it. As long as you don't sell it. As long as you don't sell it. And even if you do, as long as you collect taxes and pay them to the government, the government doesn't fucking care. And there was an enormous difference in the quality of the tobacco that was grown at home compared to the stuff that you purchased from the large distributors. Was it better? A million times better. Cleaner. Well, was I, a think, times well yeah. I think I you just to, had tobacco in your smoke. I used to give those to people at high school. They thought I was giving them something illegal because they never had anything like that before. They mm-hmm. never had anything like that. So, okay, I know I'm rambling. Champ is giving me the wrap-up sign. So uh, let's get to what can you do for people living in the GTA? What can you do to um, maximize your own lot when it comes to, all of, when it comes to the legalization that is, that is coming? Um, so first... I've got a couple of suggestions that I want to throw out to the table. Number one, find a way to financially capitalize on this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, It is going mainstream. Full stop. It's happening. It happened in Colorado. And what was the other one? Arizona? Were they the the first two states? Colorado, Washington. Colorado, Colorado, Washington. When that happened, the dominoes are falling. All the states are going into it because it's essentially free money for the government. Canada is going to follow suit. Um, there, ha- there was an explosion recently in the stock price of marijuana producing companies to the point where they had to halt trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Okay? Because if you got in on that early, I know some people who did. I unfortunately missed it. I did not get in on the sin bandwagon over there. But try and find a way to get in on this early. Buy stocks in, the, buy, buy stocks in Shoppers Drug Mart if you can. Okay, Uh, try and find a way to get in on this ground floor. Don't get sucked into the small dispensaries because as soon as it becomes legal, the tobacco companies are going to come in. I've heard this opinion from many different people and I've read it in many different places online. As soon as it becomes legal and it's a free-for-all, the tobacco companies will come in because they are the masters of growing, drying, and shredding and distributing a leaf. So they are going to come in. They are going to take over. Okay? So get in while you can. Fill your boots on all of those individual uh, marijuana providers because they will eventually become part of the big Altria tent, which is now the new name for Rothmans, which, as I said before, they can go fuck themselves because they didn't hire me. Now... And then they'll go GMO, too. And then and then they'll go GMO. Now, the um, there, there's a lot of things we didn't touch upon. They, they want to sell it based on potency, uh, all, all these kind of things, which, unfortunately, we don't have time to talk about. But the other recommendation that I have, and uh, uh, this goes for everyone, whether you're a user or not, um, think about the consequences (laughs) of your usage and make an informed choice. Uh, Just because it becomes legal, I hope people are not going to go run out and say, it's legal, therefore it's moral. Uh, Because that those two items do not equate with each other. Um, If you're not doing it now, there's probably a reason for that. Don't get sucked into the bandwagon. Um, do your research. Make your decisions. It's just like alcohol and tobacco where you have to think it's not just about how you feel, it's how it affects the people around you. 
Those are my suggestions, Chad. I throw that out to the table. Very good. Very good. Hey, listen, if you use it, just stay off the roads mm-hmm. and stay home and enjoy it. Okay, who wants to kick off the closing remarks? Uh, Enza, let's get some closing remarks from you. Uh, so I think it is a plant. Um, medicinally, um, I think it, it's not used as medicine. I think it's used for treating symptoms. Um, I would like to see more research um, because I like to see the research to see if it actually does anything because uh, I have conflicting thoughts on it. Um, but it, as a form of medicine to treat, I don't think it treats. I think it just minimizes symptoms of like cancer. It helps with improving appetite and stuff like that. And then with legalizing, it's a fear of people taking advantage and uh, overusing. And the I fear also control and making sure people are using, using it within their limits. So that's my thoughts. Thank you, Enza. Let's move it uh, to her left. Uh, Marco, <coughs> closing thoughts. It was a Canadian-based company called Canopy Trading Stock. Canopy at, Growth Corp. Yeah. Trading stock six months ago, I think, around $2 a share. It was pennies. This, pennies. Pennies? Pennies. This month, $11 a share. By my math, that's 500% increase. Cash in, people. Cash in. Now, save up, buy a house. <laughs> a wonderful, a wonderful callback to our discussion on the housing market in the GTA. <laughs> Big B, I want to hear your thoughts on the cannabis. But hold on. Ah, oh, that Wilcox baby. <laughs> That's what she me? said. Are you Go copying ahead. me? Go ahead. <laughs> I would like to give 30 points to Champ for doing the same thing I did Thank you. at the beginning uh, of the episode. I'll give myself 30 well, points. Thank you. What do I get? I gave you both the beers, you bastards. Do your final piece. Yeah, Five points I for get... for, for uh, Big V for bringing the beer. Yeah, Go ahead. Anyways. Um, I really don't have much to say with regards to this. Uh, it really, like I said before, uh, it isn't something that I've really thought about or cared about really because it's really not part of my life. Uh, I really don't know any very many people that even smoke it. But you are surrounded by people who use it every day. Do you have a subway train? How the hell, how yeah, the hell do you can... Uh, you don't know. Because some people are pretty yeah. brazen about it. You don't know. A lot some, of people yeah. are pretty brazen. Like, I'm actually oh, surprised. You're talking, oh, you're talking about some of my co-workers. Well, your co-workers and the moron public okay. that you deal with. <laughs> okay, well, the moron public I won't ever know about because... You hide from them. <laughs> Well, that and the fact that some of their psychological tendencies isn't simply because of marijuana. It's because of many other reasons. But, the, uh, but, but the, as for my as for fellow employees that I work with, um, yes, I I can't say that many of them don't. Uh, is it on the list for the random drug testing? Of course it is. Okay, it's, I will save that for another topic. Besides, uh, yeah, I won't be. Uh, I don't think I'll be working with many people that uh, do it. Uh, often uh, when those drug tests start to, quotation marks, randomly uh, start being implemented. So, but anyways, um, whether it's a plant, whether it's a drug, whether it's whatever, um, it's been around. People want to do it, they'll do it. If they don't, they don't. If you got cash, go buy some stocks. (laughs) That's all I got. Thank you, Big V. Gino? So this is um, yet another example of the failings of our current federal government. Uh, They rushed into this topic. They rushed this decision forward to get votes. They did not clearly think this through. Um, it uh, It is much the opposite approach, which I think was also wrong, that was from our previous conservative government, where it was, everything is all bad, full stop. I think that was also wrong. Oh, yes. Uh, We have not had a reasoned, logical, fact-finding, and eventual debate on this topic in this country. Um, And uh, I I feel that uh, the federal government here has severely dropped the ball. Um, We are going to be dealing with unintended and unforeseen consequences of this decision for years to come. Uh, and uh, that's where I'm going to leave it on that. Thank you, Gino. JR, closing remarks. Okay. Um, so first off, just to start off, 
anyone who thinks that big pharma's behind the, against the alcohol is against the legalization of marijuana is wrong. They don't care. Not because it's not going to do anything. Because a, it's uh, work is what research has done. But even let's say ten years from now, and we've got a million highly high quality, you know, uh, medical research. Medi- a lot of med- 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 medical research done proves Studies? beyond beyond a ser- shadow of a doubt that it it cures X Y and Z. That alone does not make it medicine legally. You have to do. You have to petition the government. There's a lot of mountains upon mountains of paperwork to make it legal medicine, and there's no one that's going to do this because the people who are selling it. They don't have to do it. It's coming. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. They, it won't happen. It doesn't, there's, there's doing the research, and then there's pushing it through the government to get it legalized. And that, that key, that last step, that last mile is not going to happen. Farm, big farm is not going to do it, and no, no, none of these small marijuana companies are going are gonna to jump into it. So, Wait, wait, sorry. Big so what are, you, is not, what are you saying? Are you saying that it's, the studies will never be done? The studies will be done. But the last mile of put, getting the government approvals based on that research will not be done. Because well, so it, it does because it, it's not automatic. Just because you, you do a bunch of research and studies, and then those studies follow an application to push it through the government. Companies do those applications for specific medicines. You know, there is no company that invented marijuana, and therefore nobody's going to push that through. No copyright available. You know, this isn't Viagra where it's owned by Pfizer, and Pfizer did is is by far pushing. It. No one will push this through, and there's no pressure to. So no 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 applications will be filed, and it will never be approved because there's no moment no, no company driving that train. Uh, and then and then speaking of trains. Once it's legalized, I'm 100% sure it's going to start being removed from the drug tests because, mm. because right now it's illegal and you can't be doing legal drugs. Fair. But once you can do it at home, now, now, this, now this becomes an argument that the company is now overreaching what you are allowed to do at home. Incremental steps. Precisely. Yeah. But first it has to be legal. Because otherwise, there's, otherwise if they could, they would... They would be testing whether you drink alcohol at all. They do. The current the day the day you show up, not the not last night, not on the weekend. That's they don't, true. Because right now they simply don't want you to show up to work drunk. Yes. But drug tests only reveal that you've done drugs in the near past. Not that you're incapacitated. Precisely. Or uh, you you the may day not have done. Working. You could not do in certain drugs. You could not do them for two days. You're completely sober. And then you fail the drug test because you did it two days ago, or you know if 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 you do a hair a hair follicle test for people who don't like pissing, um, cheek thing. swabs right? Cheek, cheek swabs? Swab? No, no, hair no, hair, fo- hair no, follicle because it builds swabs. it builds uh, depending on the test. But here's my going forward: people who enjoy marijuana, you have been gi- you are about to be given a fantastic reward. Use it responsibly. Do not make the contradictors right. Don't get into car accidents. Don't start smoking it around churches or people who don't want it to, to, want it to smell. <laughs> or be responsible with it. Uh-huh. Use it privately and in your own home. And don't make problems for people with it. And use this newfound power to your benefit. Thanks, JR. I agree with you. You know what? The marijuana... Plant, cannabis, it's a plant. If I want to smoke a dandelion, if I want to smoke an oak leaf, I should be free to do the same with the marijuana plant. That's my opinion. But you know what? Don't get behind a wheel because it, it, I think it's going to impair your judgment a little bit. Uh, besides uh, racing to the convenience store for that bag of Doritos. Um, buy the Doritos wonderful. first. Yeah, buy the Doritos first. Time management. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you're ready for the backyard. Um, anyways, uh, I want to thank my panelists and special guests for joining us. Gino? One second here. Uh, this, uh, we are very close to the Christmas season, and we are in the season of giving. So we do have something for our illustrious leader. We do have an uh, award for you. 
Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What's so this? we have here a certificate of excellence. You can go to the uh, <laughs> Twitter feed at Crew Roundtable. You can see photos of this. Um, this someone... is a certificate of excellence, and I shall read it out for everyone. Um, it says that this certifies that Sal Champ, in recognition of running the camp, has been selected to receive this certificate this 16th day of December. 2016, oh. and we will take a photo of it. Oh, no thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No expenses. No expenses spared. I'm going to take a picture with it. No expenses spared. Please go to our Twitter feed at Crew Roundtable. Like, like, and uh, you can also go to. Uh, like Jurassic Park, we spared no expense. We spared no expense. And you can also go to our website, crewroundtable.com. To see the glory Actually, of the certificate oh, of excellence. I think, I think this may have broke our budget. Was this in the, I think the $2 in the field of much. excellence? In the field of excellence. <laughs> Thank you. I, I accept this award. I will hang it on the wall. And um, I want to thank all my, my guests and special guests. Uh, for joining us today on this topic. Don't forget to visit our website, crewroundtable.com. Don't forget to tweet us at at crewroundtable, hashtag askthecrew if you have a topic, question, or suggestion uh, to improve the show. Subscribe and share wherever you get your podcasts. That's right. iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio. Tune and, in. And now on tunein.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to the Crew Roundtable podcast, brought to you by CrewRoundtable.com, the letter M, the letter J, and by the number S. If you have any topic suggestions, please tweet us at Crew Roundtable and add the hashtag AskTheCrew. Crew Roundtable. Find us listed in iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, and tuned in. And join us next time when you'll hear Big V say, Giggity! Thank you again.